Hi. A few days ago, I released an updated Godot hand pose detector 2.0.0 release. Uh, this version uh, has a breaking change, but it does make it simpler to use. So this video is uh, a walkthrough of how to use it. All right, let's begin. So create a new project, uh, hand pose demo 2, and we'll put it in the temp folder. All right, so we'll start importing some of the assets. So we'll hit the uh, Godot OpenXR Vendors plugin. Um, we want the latest uh, beta one to work with uh, Godot 4.3. And we'll bring in the uh, Godot XR hand pose detector. Make sure it's 2.0 or later. And we'll also be installing Godot XR tools, but rather than hitting the asset store, I've downloaded a newer version. So. All right. So yeah, it's asking for uh, uh, import for blends. We'll just disable that. Uh, Right. When this launches, it's going to have a bunch of uh, import errors because uh, we haven't enabled the plugin yet. So we'll bring up the, uh, the project settings and enable the Godot XR Tools plugin. And with that enabled, uh, we can uh, run some of the helper tool scripts. So we'll enable OpenXR and set up the physics layers. All right. While we're at it, uh, we'll make sure that uh, OpenXR is set up to start with an alpha uh, blend environment. All right, so let's start building the main scene. So the 3D scene, uh, we're just naming it main here. I'll save this and make it the, uh, the main scene when we start the, uh, the application. Let's add a sun and an environment. And then uh, an XR origin, and uh, we'll put a XR camera 3D in here for uh, the headset. So I'll bring that up to an average height. We'll create uh, two XR node 3Ds uh, for each of the tracked hands. So left tracked hand, and have this uh, follow the left hand tracker. And uh, we'll put it roughly where the hand uh, will be in the game. And do the same thing for the uh, right uh, tracked hand. All right, so let's actually drag, drag some uh, hand models in there. So under the hand pose detector, you'll find the left and the right uh, uh, hand models. So we'll make them editable so that we can uh, add um, the hand modifier 3Ds to drive the meshes. So add a hand modifier 3D under the skeleton and have it driven by the uh, the appropriate uh, uh, tracked hand. So right hand driven by right hand tracker. Okay. So now we get to the first change of the hand pose detector. We want a controller so we can just drag the controller node in itself. So I'll drag the uh, hand pose controllers under each of the hands. And let's configure the left one. So it's again going to monitor the left uh, hand tracker and it's going to produce a uh, hand pose controller uh, track for the, the left hand. So put in just the action map and we'll put in two actions. So we'll use the uh, the pinch pose uh, to drive the floating point uh, uh, grip uh, input for OpenXR, and do the same thing for uh, the fist uh, driving the float grip signal. All right. So we'll copy that uh, uh, action map resource. Go to the right hand 
and uh, paste it in there. And we just want to make sure for the right hands that uh, we're driving the uh, the right uh, controllers and monitoring the, the right hand tracker. All right, so that's our, our tracking done. Now we just need to make some fake uh, uh, virtual controllers. So do the left virtual controller and uh, also add the uh, right virtual controller while we're here. And these need to track the, uh, the controller that we are creating for the hand tracking. So copy the name and uh, set that as the tracker that's driving the left controller. Same thing for the right hand, right pose controller. We'll copy its controller name and put that over. All right, so now we have the virtual controllers being driven by the, the hand tracking. Uh, let's also make it so that if we lose tracking, the uh, the hand meshes disappear. All right. So now we can go to XR Tools and drag uh, the function pickups under the left and right controllers. We'll want to tune these a little bit. Uh, so uh, we don't want uh, uh, ranged grabbing. We want to shrink the grab distance to uh, just 0.1 meters. All right. So that gives us uh, grabbing. Uh, while we're here, let's bring in the start XR script. And uh, we'll have it enable pass through. All right. So now we can grab. We need something to grab. So we'll create a new inherited scene from the XR tools uh, pickable. I call this uh, a grab cube. And uh, we'll add a Mesh Instance uh, 3D for a cube. Make it fairly small. And we'll make it red. And we'll set the collision shape. All right. Let's save this. I'll just put it in the root as grab cube. Oh, and uh, what do you think? Yeah, let's uh, change how this thing works. So second hand will swap, and we'll have this frozen. Otherwise, it's just going to fall th um, through the earth. All right. So in our main scene, we'll uh, slap a few of these in front of us to play with. All right. So I just need to set up the export now for Android. So open up the exports and Android export. Oh, we need to enable the uh, Android textures and oh, well, yeah, let's think. Uh, this one's going to be for uh, the Meta. So set it for OpenXR. Enable the Meta plugin. Let's let's rename this sucker. So. MetaQuest. All right. And let's go and check the, uh, the MetaQuest uh, options all the way at the bottom. So we want pass through as required and we want hand tracking as required. I think that might be it. All right. So with that, uh, let's install the Android uh, build templates. And then uh, export uh, an APK. It doesn't like the name, but uh, hand pose demo too, I think will be fine. All right, I'll skip past uh, the compile step and uh, We'll see what it looks like in the headset. All right, we've got the hands, and oh, my origin is a little off. Oh, 
All right. Um, I should have tweaked the hand poses a little bit. The, the debounce time is uh, is too long. So I go back in to the uh, the poses and we'll adjust these so they're far faster the hold and release times. 0 0.05 seconds should be good. All right. So with that, let's uh, export and try again. All right, much better. All right, there you go.